throwback. On Wednesday, January 3rd, Amber Heard shared a series of photos from when she shot Aquaman 2, which was filmed back in 2021 and 2022. The snaps from the set included an image of Heard and her baby, Una, too. The rare picture of the little girl showed her happily holding her pride and joy in her arms as she fed the child a bottle. In the adorable photo, the former wife of Johnny Depp smiled wide as she looked down at Una, whose father's identity has not been revealed. The star had bright red hair and wore a gray sweater and white tank top. Baby Una looked up at her mom in a hot pink shirt and floral printed pants. In addition to the portrait of the mother and daughter, Heard shared a selfie with bright red hair used for her character and uploaded an image of herself in a winter coat, sunglasses and a headband while appearing to be in stage makeup. After all this time, Aquaman 2 made its splash, sorry, it's too easy, thank you to all of my fans for the overwhelming support and love in Mara's act return. Thank you so much, the star penned. Heard's post came after she moved to Spain with Una following the media frenzy caused by the defamation case brought against her by Depp. Just months after the jury ruled Heard had defamed the Pirates of the Caribbean star, the pair took off to Mallorca, but later relocated to Madrid. Since moving to the city, she's hired a tutor to help them improve their Spanish, and they're now able to converse with friends, a source said of the mother of one. The insider noted Heard wanted to move to the European country because most people she met in Spain either didn't know about her past or didn't care. She and her little girl fit in well with their new neighbors, they added, noting Heard has made friends and Una has been doing well in preschool. With Amber's ugly past behind her, she and Una can make a fresh start, the source explained, referencing the grueling court case. She thinks it's the best decision for them both. Depp originally filed the case against Heard in 2019 after she wrote a controversial op-ed in which she described herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. The Charlie and the Chocolate Factory actor claimed her article ruined his reputation and caused him to lose work. The jury later found her liable and she was ordered to pay a total of $8.3 million in damages.